be doing a clothing haul. Uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but I have been working on some homeschool mommy style. <laughs> and uh, I tried doing a lookbook on my vlog channel a little bit ago. And I worked with an online clothing boutique called Pink Blush. I really enjoyed working with them and it was just my first and only lookbook that I did on that channel. I don't know if you've seen it or not. If you'd like to check it out, I will link it up top somewhere. It was a lot of fun to do. It was something different. I am a believer that you do need to try different things to see what you like. Um, I don't know how many more lookbooks I'll be doing in the future, <laughs> but it was super fun. Anyway, they reached out to me again because they are gearing up for a huge Black Friday sale and wanted to know if I wanted to feature some pieces on the clothing haul on my channel. And I said, sure, I'd love to. I really like their concept and really it's just about um, fitting women through all the stages of life. So I think they started off as a maternity brand and now they are moving into um, more women's and uh, they have a plus size section as well. I just really like the concept of fitting women in different stages of life. So I would love to be able to share and let you guys know that they have a sale going on. I'm also gonna be able to do a giveaway and I'll have all of the information for that in the description box below. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, so first of all, I was really surprised with what I chose. I didn't think about it when I chose the items, but now that I'm sitting down getting ready to show them to you guys, these pieces are totally out of character for me. I'm a very simple girl. I like to wear um, one color, you know, mostly black. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm just not a floral girl. Um, but pretty much everything I got has a bunch of flowers in it. So <laughs> I've noticed that my style is definitely changing. It's really hard when you're a, a homeschool mom, I feel like, because you want to get dressed up and you want to um, look girly if you're a girly type of girl, but you're not going anywhere and you're going to be on nature walks and you're going to be painting and you're going to be cuddling and they're going to be getting sticky stuff all over you and you're going to be cleaning up messes all day. So it just doesn't make any sense to get like properly dressed all the time. So I am normally in t-shirts and leggings and comfy jeans and sweatpants and that type of deal. And I'm trying to switch that up a little bit. I have no problem with wearing sweatpants and leggings and um, comfy t-shirts. I wear my t-shirts all the time, but I wanted to try to, you know, just do a better job uh, dressing because it does make you feel better. Now, what I did notice is that I am really into wearing dresses around the house, like really, really comfy um, dresses during the summer. I really have been enjoying wearing um, maxi dresses just because they're nice and flowy. They're really comfortable and they make me feel very girly at the same time. So I can still do whatever it is that I need to do with the kids, but still feel very you know, feminine and girly, and I like that a lot. So I have a couple of dresses to share and a couple of flowy shirts, and I'm just gonna show you what I got. So first I got two really flowy, cute shirts. Now, like I said, don't be, don't be alarmed by the amount of roses and florals that I chose. I surprised myself, so if you know me, I'm sure you're gonna be surprised. The first one I got was this long sleeve, super flowy, super cute, just basic long sleeve um, cream shirt. I like it a lot because it's flowy. It feels really nice on the skin and that's really important for comfort. It's a cute little sequence pocket that just makes it a little fancy, which is nice. I really like wearing shirts like these around because I'm dressed, but I'm still very, very comfortable. I almost feel like I have on pajamas. <laughs> so, um, and I thought I could dress this up really nicely and dress it down if I wanted to as well. So I like this one a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. The next one I got was basically the same material, but it has a little bit of pattern going on. It's got some stripes in the front, and it's got a bunch of flowers on the back. <laughs> I 
like I said, I was really surprised that I would like all of these flowers, but I happen to really like them. They make me feel really girly, so I'm going with it. Um, I love that I could just go ahead and put like a sweater, like an open cardigan, a chunky one over top of it. I could put a jean jacket or even um, a faux leather jacket or something like that over top of it just to layer it and make it a bit more fun. I could wear it with jeans. Um, I like to wear black jeans because it makes me feel a little bit more fancy when I'm still wearing nice comfortable jeans. So anyway, I really like this one. The next item I got is actually a robe. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to say about those shirts. I really like the material of those shirts as well, especially in the winter time, because I have a lot of um, chunky sweaters and things like that that you love to wear. You know, sweater weather is everything. But when you're inside the house doing homeschool and things like that, I find that I get dressed for the day because it's winter out and it's cold but I end up taking everything off, <laughs> you know, and you're back down to your t-shirt again because you're in the house and you have, you've been blessed with some heat going on. So what you wear inside of the house every day during the winter is different from what you wear when you actually go out of the house. So um, I like that they're long sleeve but still like a thinner material. So just when I go out, I just layer on a scarf. Hey, mommy, I want to be in your video. It never fails. <laughs> She's always right behind me all day long and I love it. I just need a break sometimes, but I love it. Don't get me wrong. Okay, anyway, so I got to choose a robe. I love this one so much. It's a full length and it has really um, flowy sleeves and it's a really nice material. It's just really nice to wear around the house and Brian loves it. It makes me feel so fancy and feeling fancy is a good thing after you've spent the whole day with the kids and you're trying to like transition into wife mode. Yeah, so I really like this one. I like it a lot. I think this was the only one that was full length on the site. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But I really like this one. I love the colors. I, I really like the navy and the pink. It just makes me feel super girly. Okay, the next thing I got, I had to actually select from two items. And the other item that I had to choose from looked very similar to an item that I already had. So I went ahead and got this one. Now, okay, let me explain. Um, when I saw the dress on line I thought it was more of a minty color like more of a muted like minty color and when I got it it is I was really surprised because it's a very vibrant color and I was like oh like this is so not me <laughs> It's really not me. It's a really cute dress, but it's really not me. However, I went and tried it on and um, I matched it with a cute, just a jean jacket. And I happen to really like it. I really liked it. The only thing that I was thinking though is that I don't think that I would wear it now. I'd probably wait until the spring to wear it with the jean jacket. But I was actually pretty surprised um, that I liked it once I put the jean jacket on. And like I'm saying, just because, well it's not just because of the colors. It's the amount of florals and the colors together. But um, I think that when I'm trying to find my style now, I think it's totally different from what you look at online and imagine yourself wearing and what you actually try on and find looks really good on you. So I found that the the busy patterns are, I think they look really good on me. So, so I'm sticking to it. I, it's not something I would normally have chosen on my own, but um, when I showed Brian, he said he liked it. And so I figured I would try it and I happen to really like it. Now the only thing, like I said again, is I'd probably layer a jean jacket over it and I would definitely wear it in the spring. So this is probably not something that I'm going to be wearing for the fall or the winter. But um, if it was a different color, if it was like a darker, more fall or wintry um, color pattern, I'd probably just go ahead and wear some thick leggings underneath and some boots and then a jacket over top and then a, um, and a scarf. But just because of the colors, I probably won't wear this until the spring. Try different things, right? So anyway, it's a really pretty dress. I just wouldn't wear it until the springtime. The last item I got is this long, like maxi, which I already explained that I love. Um, this maxi dress, it's really pretty fall-like 
colors. It has a pocket on the side, which I love. And I really love that it's no sleeve because I can definitely just layer it. Like I said, this would be really comfortable to wear inside of the house the warm heat on you know <laughs> so um, it'll be really comfortable to wear inside of the house and then when I go out I just layer it I put on my faux leather jacket and a scarf and this one makes me feel super pretty I'm going to be wearing them in videos to come so you see how I'm actually putting them on and how they last through the day because you know sometimes you get dressed in the morning like on this journey to try to do better as a homeschool mom getting dressed you get dressed in the morning and you're like yes okay and then you get started in your day and you're like I'm cooking 18 meals right now and I'm cleaning up paint and a bunch of junk on the floor like I'm not gonna wear this all day but I feel like this is a nice blend between um, very comfortable materials um, and dressier styles like this is a um, a more dressy style that I would wear throughout the day but because the material is like this jersey material it makes you feel like it's okay to continue to wear throughout the day does that make sense anyway I, I, I don't know to say has anybody else seen any tips for how to dress as a homeschool mom I feel like there's nothing really out there normally I end up watching like teacher what I wore this week type of things but it's different because uh, you know you don't have to wear teacher things you know but um so yeah I think I'll start doing more of the what I wore as a homeschool mom type of video so I feel like it's necessary if you guys have any tips let me know but I just do want to do better because when you're dressed nicely you feel better but some things just don't make sense to wear you know so anyway I'm rambling again but like I said I really love these dresses and pink blush actually has a lot of these type of dresses on their site so I'm definitely gonna go and try to add some more to my collection like I said they just make you feel really really pretty and at the same time, they're very comfortable. But anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Make sure you head over and check them out for their Black Friday sale. I've really enjoyed working with them and I really have enjoyed um, their items. Trying to transition into this new style thing as a homeschool mom because it's been a long time coming and I need to just go ahead and put some effort into it because you just need to. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.